What's going on, gang? Matt McCoy, Acoustic Selection. Hope you're doing well in this video, especially if you're starting out. I hope it's a good one for you. We're going to learn your first five chords. If you can play these five chords, you can play thousands and thousands and thousands of songs, all types of music. I'm going to show you, give you a couple pointers with each one of them as well. The first chord's a G chord. A lot of times when I learned it, you have your ring finger in the bottom string and the fifth string, second fret, top string. Like that right there. The way I recommend doing it is keeping both strings pressed in the bottom of the third fret. Remember, each of these squares is called a fret. I recommend having your pinky finger in the bottom string third fret, ring finger in the second string third fret, first finger in the fifth string. And remember, keep, keep your fingers close to the fret bar as well. You don't want your fingers over here in the middle, this side. Keep it close, to, this is called the body of the car, as close as you can to the body of the, car, body of the guitar with that fret bar. This is gonna be your best sounding G chord right there. Now the next chord is a C chord. Now a lot of you, if you look, if you look up on the internet, type in C chord guitar or something, it's gonna show the second, fourth, and fifth shown in the bottom five. Down the road you can learn that, but I don't recommend that at first. If you're starting out and you're a beginner, I recommend you learn the C add nine chord. And anytime you see on the internet a song that says the C chord, just play this, I promise you, it's gonna sound just as good, nobody can tell. So all you're gonna do is play your G chord, except slide your top two fingers down to the fourth and fifth and show the bottom five. So here's the two different chords, C. It's kind of a little different sound, but I'm telling you for transition sake, you wanna go G. C with just your top two fingers. I got a nine-year-old, I'm teaching him this. It's gonna make the transition so much easier than taking all your fingers off in there. Just go boom, boom, boom. Next chord's a D chord. Take your first finger down to the third string of the second fret. Again, you're keeping the bottom, I cannot stress this enough, guys. Keep those bottom two strings locked. It's gonna stabilize that guitar. Press the third string. Strum the bottom four. So you can see there, just moving these top two fingers. G. And I would recommend if you're a beginner, work on going back and forth. G, C, D, C, G, C. And if you're a beginner, that's where I would start. Because you can play thousands and thousands of songs with just these three chords. Now again, the D chord is another one of those. If you look it up, you're gonna see a third and bottom of the second fret and second string of the third fret. That's what you're gonna see. If you're just starting out, again, I would make it the transitions easy. We want you to see success as fast as possible. Keep the bottom two strings locked. Press the third string. Right there. Sweet on Alabama. All right, the third, I mean, the fourth chord is the E minor chord. If you look it up, you're going to see the fifth and fourth string on the second fret. It's a real mysterious sound. I want you to play it. I want you to keep those bottom two strings locked, right? Because we want those transitions. We don't want your hands going all the way off the guitar. All we'll talk about A minor, which you will in a second, but keep the bottom two strings locked. I use, when I play it, I use one finger, press right between the fifth and fourth, and strum all six. If you have smaller fingers, use your first and second finger, play the fifth string with your first finger, fourth string with your middle, and strum all six. So again, what I do is I get close to that fret bar, press the two middle string, the fifth and fourth string and play it that way. Smaller fingers, do it this way. So now that's the first four chords you want to work on all the time. G, C, D, E minor. so much fun with just those four chords. That's what I'm known for. If you ever hear the Matt McCoy first four chords, that's what I'm talking about. G, C, E minor, D. Your fifth and final chord is going to be an A minor. This is going to help you just learn to take all your hand, all your fingers off the guitar and play another chord. This is a common shape as well. Second string of the first fret, fifth, I mean fourth and third, the two middle strings of the second. And there's your A minor. So it's a great once you get, once you advance Pass the G, C, D, and E minor. Add the A minor. We're going to go in C, G, A minor. I just 
just taught Simple Man on my country song teacher channel. C, G, A minor. So many people think to get better at guitar, you just learn more and more and more chords. That's not true, guys. You can have a five, six, seven chords, and that's it. And play thousands of songs, learn strumming patterns. Learn palm mutes, how to build up, how to add in a little leads, that kind of thing. But the key is get good at four, five, six chords. And I'm telling you, with capo, you can play any song you want. So there's your first five chords, a G, C, E minor, D and an A minor. I hope it's a blessing to you. If you want to follow more of my lessons, check out AcousticSelection.com. All one word, AcousticSelection.com. You'll see I've got beginner guitar courses, strumming courses, four-chord songbooks for worship songs, country songs, all that kind of fun stuff. So go to the website, AcousticSelection.com, and you can take your guitar journey to the next level. I promise you, I've taught thousands all over the world, and I'm sure I can teach you too. Please subscribe if you haven't, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless you.